Hi and welcome to a short tutorial on another Outlook add-in from Sperry Software. This one is called Safeguard Send. It has several safeguards that it will check before it allows an email to be sent. First thing we want to do is configure the add-in. We start in Outlook, I've already opened it up, and we want to go up to the menu section where it says Sperry Software Add-ins. Then on the ribbon we click Sperry Software, and the system will display the Sperry Software Add-ins that you've installed so far. In this case, we're going to work with the third one on the list here. I just installed Safeguard Send. So with Safeguard Send, the first thing it can do is help make sure that you don't accidentally send an email outside of your company domain that has confidential information. Really useful. This allows you a chance to peruse the email one last time before you actually send it out. It causes a prompt when you send emails outside of your domain. So you can check the box that turns it on. The box says prompt whenever sending any email to a recipient outside of these domains. Note that you can use wildcards. For example, you can put SperrySoftware.com. You could put asterisk SperrySoftware.com. You could put asterisk.SperrySoftware.com. You could even put something like Espanol.SperrySoftware.com and use asterisks on that as wildcard as well. Just make sure that each entry is on a separate line. The next option in Safeguard Send allows you to check specific email addresses or domains before you send out. First, it alerts you with a customizable prompt. You can enter that on the right here in the text box. Whenever you send an email to a particular email address or a particular domain. This is really helpful in situations where you have an important client and that email has to be dealt with with special care. You can use wildcards here again with your emails that you put in this. And like before, just make sure that each item in this section is on a separate line. The next option, you can set up the Safeguard Send add-in to prompt you when it detects particular keywords. You specify these keywords one per line in the box provided. As with the other safeguards above, you can use wildcards to match a wider variety of keywords. For example, if you put cat in here, you'll get a prompt if the email subject or body contains the word cat, but not if it contains the word category. However, if you specified cat with an asterisk, making it a wildcard, then you would get a prompt if the add-in saw the word category as well in the subject or body of the email. Now these first three options appear on the first tab in the configuration, which is called Confidentiality Safeguards. There are additional configuration tabs in Safeguard Send. We're going to click on Other Safeguards next. The first option here is Check the Number of Recipients. This will alert you if a large number of people are in the email that you're replying to or sending to. The next option down, turn it on with the checkbox of course, is is whether or not you'd like to be prompted if you're sending an email and forget to put a subject in the subject line. The final option on this screen is called Check Any Send. If you check this box, there are a couple of options. Prompt whenever sending any email, or the checkbox below that, is prompt only if it has at least one attachment. And again, like the options above, you can assign a custom text message in the text box to the right. The last tab we're going to look at is called Prevention Safeguards. This allows you to prompt when sending any email that includes a United States Social Security number, and there's also an additional checkbox right below that if you include U.S. Employer Identification Numbers, EINs, as well. And finally, the last option is whether or not you want to be prompted if you're sending an email that has credit card information in it. The system will look at the format of the numbers and see if it's a credit card number and prompt you about that. Now, I'm going to go back to the very first tab, Confidentiality Safeguards, and there's one final checkbox we want to make sure of here. And that's at the very top where it says Display a Separate Prompt for Each Condition. There are quite a few features in Safeguard Send, and you could get many messages when you attempt to send if you have several of these options set up. If you violate more than one of any of the safeguards that you've enabled, there are basically two ways that you can have the add-in prompt you. You can either have each prompt come up in its own window, in serial order, and then you click yes or no on each one, which is the default, or you can choose to have all the safeguard violations show up in a single window, one per email message. Once you've set that up the way you want it, click on OK, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Be looking for more videos from Sperry Software.